Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just here to do this quick video. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm in my bathroom trying to get away from the little one. But um, yeah, I'm just here to do this quick video about products that sucks. That was recommended by YouTubers. And I'm just a regular person who enjoy doing makeup i'm not a professional or anything like that however i did buy these products on somebody's recommendation some of these youtubers so i'm just letting you guys know like the regular people who is not artists or anything like that don't waste your money on some of these products um this is what worked this i'm sorry this is what did not work for me so if it works for you um then great but it did not work for me and so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started in no particular order I'm just gonna show you the things that absolutely sucked so here we go first and foremost um, this is well I can't say this is recommended I just seen it and I thought it would be good and this is the Sona Kasha Radiant Plus Tinted Moisturizer um, this is in the color tan and it's like the darkest shade that I found in my Target. And let me tell you guys, this makes me look like a ghost. Not that I'm saying the product itself sucks, but the fact that there's not a lot of color ranges for women of color kind of makes it like terrible. So it goes on pretty ashy. Um, you really cannot tone it down. I wouldn't even use this as anything except probably the garbage. I mean, that's probably where I'd put it because it doesn't work for anyone maybe somebody who's way lighter than I am but um, as you can see I'm not even that dark so it's like I don't know I mean it, it just sucks and this is a shade tan so I don't know if it gets any darker but right now this is the darkest shade I could find and no and I was looking for something for the summer this which is why I bought this one um yeah so the next product is actually two I got these um, online actually. Um, they're the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. <laughs> yeah, they're not matte at all. They actually crumbles. They um, it it patchy. It it's just awful. Let me just. I mean, and I got two shades that I thought, oh, these are neutral. These would be nice. No, let me go ahead and just swatch one of them for you. Isn't it pretty? Like, I don't know if you can see. Like, my, don't mind me, I'm looking in my viewfinder. Isn't it beautiful though, the shade? But it, it really doesn't go on like that. It's it's patchy, it, does, it never dries down. And when I think of matte, I think of something matte. Not glossy and no, that doesn't work, so no. The next one is this angel veil now there was a lot of youtube rave about this um they were like oh it's so awesome it's supposed to be the skin perfecting primer oil free yeah i i have to i had definitely have to disagree it was not well maybe it is oil free but it didn't help anything with my skin it and i'm not even that bad my my skin is pretty much combination like i have oily t-zone and sometimes i do get dry around here like around my nose my forehead but for the rest of my face is normal and this didn't help do anything it pretty much just a waste of money plus it was expensive I mean it was like $14.99 or something like that for a drugstore I mean seriously like no um, the next product is this NYX um, studio HD finishing powder <laughs> um, it's like pretty much full I used it maybe twice um, it makes your skin, it makes your finish like white. <laughs> it's white powder. It's like baby powder. I don't know. Um, it doesn't do anything for women of color. And if you can make it work for you, great. But for me, it just, it's just white. And I didn't even use a lot. I barely use this thing. And so I would say no go on this one as well. Um, now I heard a lot of good things about Milani. So I got this lip cream. And this is the, I guess, the updated formula, like the Amori Lip Cream. And I love the shade. It's so beautiful. It looks great on for about two hours or so. Then it just starts to flake, like right up in here. It just looks terrible. Like, listen, I don't know. Milani, 
is usually great, but mm -mm. this one I would say I'll pass. I mean, I use it, but only if I can use it for about a couple hours, then I have to wipe that one off, reapply. I mean, it's just too much. The next one is the NYX Intense, Intense Butter Gloss. Jesus, this thing is terrible. It, it's so patchy. I mean, the color payoff is nice. Um, like, you see, it's so pretty. This this one right here. But it's it's patchy, and it doesn't last. I mean, I mean, it didn't claim to be long-lasting, but Jesus, it's, like, terrible. Don't waste your money on this. Um, this, the um, Rimmel Match Perfection. I have it in 430 medium. I actually really, really like this concealer. It's awesome. It's got great coverage. It does what it says supposed to do. The problem is getting the product out of here. It's like I'm squeezing for dear life and nothing is happening. And when it do actually come out, it's so much product. It's just a waste. But the product itself is awesome. It's just... I'm still squeezing like I mean that's ridiculous I don't need to be lifting weights to freaking get product out of my concealer that's just retarded um, the next thing is that people been raving about is the NYX the micro brow pencil and I thought I would give this a try and I don't even remember the, what shade is this ash brown um, and I like that it has the spoolie at the end. The problem is, to me, it's just kind of dry. Like, it, you really have to press down to draw. Maybe I have a bad batch or something, but you have to press down so hard to get the product out. And and also, like, I feel like I keep breaking the pencil, the pen or whatever, because it, it's so hard. It, it doesn't draw in good. It doesn't look good. I don't know. I kind of hate it. And for, like, I think $9.99, for a couple more dollars, I could have put on and, and buy my Mac that I normally use. So I, I hate this. I hated this and I don't use it. It's just sitting here. Um, the next thing I have is this um, Revlon um, Lash Adhesive, the um, Lash Glue. Let me tell you guys, this Lash Glue would last all day, all night, all year if you wanted to. The problem is when it's time to take it off, there's a sticky stuff left on your eye. It um, it doesn't come off when you blink. You can feel it. I mean, Jesus, who wants that? If you found a way that you can get this off, let me know in the comments below because um, I like it because it works. It just doesn't come off as easily as I would like it to. Um, the next thing is this um, Rimmel. It's a lip gloss. It, this thing is so awful. I mean, I didn't buy this. I got it free. But like, um, like I ordered something and it came in with the box. And I was like, I would never buy this color. Like seriously, look at this shade. This is not for me. Um, but besides the color being terrible, um, it comes off so much. It's like, no, it's, this is just a no. Just a no. Um, then I have the CoverGirl Intensify Me Black Liner. It, it, the liner itself is really dark. The problem is, look at that, can you see it? It's super thick and they're like, oh, if you want it to be intense or if you want it to be just a thin line. The thin line part does not work. If you want a thick line, this is awesome. But don't, don't advertise it as you can get a thin line because it's really not, not that great for a thin line. Um, the next product I have is this Wet n Wild H2O. Um, I like it. The problem is, and I know there's always a problem, right? Look how thick this is, and it's hard. It doesn't, it's, no, no, it's just a no. And then the Revlon, this one, it's, I like I like this I like this one. It just smudges a lot, so you have to be really careful. So I don't know about this one. It's probably a iffy. I don't know. And I know a lot of people are probably gonna disagree, but the Milani this um, little palette again. Uh, maybe I have a badge a bad batch, but this one it's like um, 
some of the shades are better than others like this this orange color one and this um this one right here they're really good shades like they come off really good but the rest of them you gotta work your butt off to get them um and i don't feel like i should have to be working so hard i mean yeah it is drugstore here's the orange shade one right here i don't know if you can see that um yeah it's i like i kind of like the palette it's like a hit and miss on some of the shades but you know it, it is drugstore you do get what you pay for and i would say i have one high end that i absolutely hate this is tarte um liner you know the one that has the the skinny liquid liner on one end and then they have the the other one at the other end this side i love the liquid liner i hate it smudges it runs it is pretty dark but it's not my favorite i actually would use like elf over this one so i would say don't waste your money get an elf one or something better for high end but this one was like 20 something dollars and it's terrible i wouldn't get that again i would not repurchase um I also got like for my birthday Sephora the little Marc Jacobs sample. I don't know where the liner is, but the liner is terrible. I wouldn't even spend a dollar on that thing. It smudges, it runs, it lasts for 20 minutes. It's a waste of money. Don't buy it. I mean, like I said, I'm no professional, so you don't have to listen to my opinion. But I'm just letting you know I'm the regular person that went out and bought these products and they did not work. I mean, they did not work. The next thing I have is not makeup. It's actually... um hair and this is the curls the edge control curl paste and let me tell you guys this works in nobody's hair well somebody here it doesn't work in my and my daughter is mixed and she has like two like i would say two or three hair texture on top and like three on the bot and on the bottom and this stuff still doesn't work in her hair it's like whose hair does it work in I mean, like somebody, I guess, but it doesn't work in her hair. It doesn't work in my relaxed hair. I mean, I'm sorry, my natural hair. So if it works for you, great. Um, it didn't work for me. Like I said, these products did not work for me. It may work for you. And the last thing I have are these 3D, the Crest strips, the whitening strips. They, it's supposed to be like, it's not supposed to be... It doesn't make your teeth sensitive and stuff like that. It absolutely did that for me. It made my teeth super sensitive. I couldn't like drink cold water, stuff like that. And I was just like, well, wait a minute. It said that it wasn't supposed to do that. And I don't feel like it really whitened my teeth. So for me, this was a fail. And it, it's, they're not cheap. I mean, they're kind of expensive. So don't waste your money on this. Um, but like I said, guys, these, this is my opinion. That this, this did not work for me. It may work for you. And if it worked for you, great. Um, but just letting you guys know that some of these products are not what they claim and some of these YouTubers are telling you that these products are awesome when they're really not. Not that I'm saying that it didn't work for them. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I don't know. But don't always take their word for it and take stuff back. If you don't like it, take them back. A lot of stores, they will take these stuff back. So don't purchase these things and don't just go off of my opinion. You can see for yourself like this. This stuff is so bad like seriously guys listen this is all the video I have right now um I know most of it is drugstore so I guess you get what you pay for but um thank you so much for watching if this is your first time please go ahead and subscribe if you've been with me then thank you for watching again and thank you for returning I hope you have a wonderful day God bless you and stay beautiful